In today's episode, we'll be speedrunning a flag icon and a pushpin icon. I'll start by creating them as quickly as I can, and then I'll go through both icons step by step, discussing all the techniques used. Okay, first up, let's create a flag icon. Um, and the, the first step to doing this is to grab the, the rectangle tool. And I'm just gonna start creating a rectangle from above and to the right of the, the center point. And as I'm dragging out, rather than creating the, the shape from the, the top left, which is the, the default way it works for the rectangle, if you hold down the option key, it will create a rectangle from the center. So that, that works for us in this instance. I'm just gonna make that, um, 12 pixels wide by by six pixels high so another way to do that would be to click on the canvas with the rectangle tool and that brings up this this rectangle window where you can type in exact values uh, that works with all of illustrator's shapes and yeah what we now have is a rectangle that's kind of vaguely the right size that we're after um, but we're missing a lot of the points we actually want a lot of points on the top and the bottom and you know one or two on the left and right so what I'm going to do to create some extra points is to go up to Object, Path, Add Anchor Points, and this will subdivide all of the, all of the line segments and add in anchor points um, in the centers of the, the segments. So you can see we now have a, an extra point on the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. And I'm just going to do that one more time because we want some more points. And again, that will subdivide the segments, so we now have uh, a lot of extra points on the top and the bottom. I don't actually want all of the points on the left and the right, so now it's time to get the, the direct selection tool and drag out a marquee selection. So we're just gonna get these, these two points on the left and the right, and then hold down shift and drag another marquee selection to get these, these two points. And from here, we wanna remove these. Um, if I just press delete, that would actually break the shape and um, it would remove the, the adjacent, adjacent line segments and open the paths, which is not what we want. So instead what you can do is you can go to Object, Path, Remove Anchor Points, and what that will do is it'll remove the points and, and it will heal, the um, it will join the, the adjacent segments. So that's, that's now exactly what we're after. And from here, again with the Direct Selection tool, we can drag out a marquee selection and select these four points and then hold shift. And while you're holding down shift, drag another marquee selection and select the side points. And now with some of the, the points in the, in the path selected, we can manipulate those points via a transform tool or whatever we want. In this case, we're just after, I'm just gonna drag them around to move them. So we'll just grab any of the points. It doesn't really matter which one. And if you drag up and drag two pixels, we now have a very blocky flag. It's not, it's not quite there, but it's getting there. And we can now drag another marquee selection and this time select these four points. And from here, we're just gonna round the shape. So if you grab the, the, the live corner tool or the live corner widget, sorry, and drag that out and drag it as far as it will go. And you can, you can know that because the, um, when it's the maximum corner radius it can go for the current selection, the, the line will become thicker. So that's what we wanna do, then let go and then drag a marquee out to select these two points and then do the same thing with the, the live corner widget, drag it all the way out. And we're pretty close now. We just need to grab the, the left-hand point and move it in one pixel and then uh, make that a rounded corner again. And then on the right-hand side, drag that in one pixel and now we just need to nudge it down half a pixel. There's a few different ways you can do that. Um, I have a, an action set up for that, but you can actually also hit the, the enter key and that will bring up the, uh, the move panel. And from here you can type, uh, we want to move it 
zero, zero pixels on the horizontal axis, and we actually don't want to move it um, half a pixel, so 0 0.5 on the vertical axis, and that'll push it down. So we, we now have the, the correct flag shape that we're after. We just need to draw the, the flagpole. So if you grab the rectangle tool and just draw out the, the flagpole, that's it. We are done. Okay, next up we have a push pin icon. And the way I'm gonna start this one is with the, the rectangle tool. So just select the rectangle tool and then drag out a rectangle that is um, 12 pixels wide by two pixels high, just to, just below the center point of the icon. And what we wanna do is round the, the, the top points of this, this rectangle. So I'm just gonna grab the direct selection tool and drag out a marquee selection that is covers the, the top two points. And from here, we can use the um, the corner widget and drag this all the way out and keep dragging until you see the, the line segment get thicker. And then just click in the middle of the shape to select all of the points. And this this next move is a little bit tricky, but it's it's worth learning. It's a, it's a good one. Um, from here, if we just grab the, the rotate tool and what normally happens with the transform tools in Illustrator is they transform around the... Uh, the origin of the bounding box of the selection. So in this instance, it'll do this, and that is not what we're after. What we actually want to do is click to to click once on the canvas with the rotate tool, and that will that will set the origin for the rotation. So I'm just going to click three pixels above and still in the the um, uh, horizontal center, and we now have a, an origin set that is here. So that that's where the the pivot point of the rotation will be. So now I can click and drag on the canvas. And that's, that's how the shape will move. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to hold down option, which will create a copy and then also hold shift and that will constrain. So it will constrain to whatever, whatever angle you have set in preferences. For me, it's uh, 45 degrees and I'm just going to drag around until we end up with a copy that is 180 degrees rotated. And from here, we just need to connect these two shapes. So get the rectangle tool again and drag a rectangle out that is just touching like that. And we, we almost have the top of the push pin done. It's just, it needs to be tapered. So I'm going to get the direct selection tool and drag another marquee selection out that covers all of these top points. And one way to taper this is to um, do something similar to the, the rotation tool trick we just did. So grab the scale tool and set the origin by clicking once in the very center of this rectangle. That will scale all of the points that we have selected using the origin we just set. So now what I'm gonna do is grab the, um, the top right hand point that I have up here and drag it in two pixels and down one pixel. And that has that now tapered the, the top of the push pin all in one go. And yeah, so we just need to create the tip down here now. So another way to do that is rectangle tool again and drag a rectangle out that is two pixels wide and just overhangs by one pixel down the bottom here. And yeah, there's a few different ways we could taper the, the tip, but what I'm gonna do is go to object, path, add anchor points, and this will subdivide all the segments, adding more anchor points. So we now have a top left, right, bottom points added. And then from here, I'm gonna select the direct selection tool and just click on the, um, the bottom left and then hold shift and click on the bottom right point. And from here, what we wanna do is remove those points, not delete them, we wanna remove them. So again, object, path, remove anchor points. And we now have a, a very boxy, boxy tip that's almost there. So we just need to use the direct selection tool to drag a marquee out and select the, um, the left and right points. And then we can now use the, the corner handle and drag that all the way until you see the segments become thicker. And that's that's now a final icon. It's not rotated yet, but it's um it's a final icon. It's not great for production because these are all separate parts. What that can mean is um you can end up having issues where the, the joins are. It's just a very not optimal path and there can be anti-aliasing issues if this is a production icon. So I'll just put those back. And one way to fix that is... Um, with the, the Pathfinder panel, if we select all of these, these paths and then click Unite, that will actually join them all together. It's all now one path and there are no gaps. And from here, what we can do is get the rotation tool again 
and we don't want to rotate like this. We actually want to set the origin again. So I'm just going to click the, the very center of the icon area and then rotate. And while rotating, once again, hold shift to constrain. And now it's the exact 45 degree angle icon like this one. That's it.